Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we're going to be going over coding exercise 33 of the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. So now is when we kind of start to have fun with the for loops and being able to iterate over things, because this is when you're really going to use it in the real world. So we have an array. We can't touch this, and it wants us to loop over people with a for loop, and then it wants us to print out each name with uppercase letters. Okay, so um, I see this a lot, and so let's 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 take this step at a time, like I always suggest. I see a lot of people who try and solve this all in one foul swoop, and I do think it is why a lot of people get this one wrong. So um, we have our people array, and what I'll see a lot is people will do people dot and then whatever their thing is. So um, I don't want to give it away, but um, uppercase string JS and pretty easy to find. It's just the two uppercase right there. And you'll see if we call it on this variable sentence, everything is put into an uppercase letter. So I could see, you know, people dot two uppercase. I could see why that might, that's why you might think it works. But the key part here is two uppercases on the string prototype, not the array. And so what you're trying to do here is you're trying to say, hey, on this array, uppercase it. But there is no two uppercase on an array. It's only on the specific string. So that's not going to work, which is OK. Um, but so we're, we're probably going to need to figure out how do we get each one of these names? And you know we could we could go we could go really basic on it and just do two uppercase and let's see what is there two four five so let's see if this passes the test I imagine it will um, oh no it, it, so it needs us to console that log because it wants us to print it so. And then we could just do, um, you know, one, two, three, four. So this will probably pass. And it does. So cool. Um, so we kind of brute force this. This is not the proper solution. Does this work? Yes. But this is also assuming we know how many things are in this array. And we're not always going to know that. And so while this does work and this does pass the test, we have to think about what if we don't know the length of the array? What if we don't know how many things are in it? And that's why we want to use this for loop. So um, I think we still have people. OK, cool. So we have our for loop. We have, and I, I almost always just start like this just to make sure I get everything so I don't forget anything. Um, so we're starting at 0. and. So here we had people zero, people one, people two, people three, people four. And that worked because we got each individual string, which you can call two uppercase on. So, um, well, that's zero. And we're going to keep adding. So it'll be zero, then it'll be one. And so we want this to run until people.length until i is less than or equal to people.length. And then we should get each person. So let's see, people i. And let's see if we print out each name. And we do. Um, and so when you see undefined with this little arrow pointing to the left, this is the default return. This is not something you did. This is something the browser did. Now here you'll see we don't have this little arrow. This is something we did. So where did we go wrong? We did get the we did get the names like we thought, but we get an undefined. And why is that? So let i equals i less than or equal to people.length. 
Oh, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I just thought of this. Um, People.length gives us one more than the, it gives us a number, it gives us the last index plus one essentially. So what we're doing here is we're getting to six, right? Cause so it's, or sorry, we're getting to five because there's five things in here, but it's zero, one, two, three, four, and then five doesn't exist, which is why we get that undefined. So, all right. So one way to solve this is um, you'll see people do, well, actually let's, um, now that we've kind of whittled this one down a little bit, um, you guys can go. And here, this isn't gonna work, remember. So there's two ways to do this. One, you'll see people.length minus one, and then that will work because again, um, people.length is gonna be one more than the last index in the array. And you'll see um, it failed, but we did get all the names. And it failed because we're not uppercasing anything. So we have the name, but now we need to uppercase it. And we'll just do two uppercase. And we can check that guy. And perfect, that did pass the test. Um, another thing you'll see is we can do this um, less than or equals to, or we can just do less than and we don't need the minus one at the end. And so this is what I was talking about when I was talking about one-off errors. Um, my first solution, which had the dot equals without the minus, it's called a one-off error because we tried to get people at index five, which doesn't exist. So we were one off. So those are gonna be the two ways to kind of tackle that is either do less than the length, or you can do less than or equal to, but then you wanna have, you have to make sure, um, you know, to minus one from this or start this at one. But um, you guys are programmers now, so we start counting at zero, we don't start counting at one. So don't change this to one, just do one of the other two options in here. So um, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next exercise.